Nicola, this is great for you to see this in this state because obviously you, you never saw it when it was the old Museum and Art Gallery, when it was fully functioning before we closed. This, of course, was the old entrance to the Museum and Art Gallery where everybody would enter. Um, and the collections galleries are closed off at the moment, but they will be redeveloped. Yeah, it's really a blank canvas. We're quite a small team, very close-knit, but our role is arts and cultural development for the city. Um, and of course, that's, that means we're working across the city in, in various, various projects and initiatives and a lot of development work. But the box is a key strategic project for the city and we're embedded in that fully as well. So we have sort of a broad remit, but we're, we're very much focusing on the box at the moment. Contemporary art does different things depending to the context that is applied. <laughs> um, and so that is what really attract me to this position because um, I think there is so much diversity and potential within the box. Not just because of obviously all the exciting new spaces, which really each of them are so different, ranging from the old building and look at this room is absolutely incredible, but all the new uh, building that has been constructed as we speak. My role as public art officer basically covers anything creative that happens in public spaces sort of across the city. So it could be the city centre, it could be the Ho, um, it could be here on the university campus. So I work across different departments within the council, within planning, different organisations in the city and individual artists to kind of help them realise and, and deliver kind of creative projects in public spaces. My role for the Arts and Cultural Development team is looking after Vital Sparks, which is a project that gives money to communities to do creative things. I'm, I also look at cultural diversity for the box, so ensuring that we're really inclusive. And I'm also looking for communities that do great work and looking for examples of how to work with communities in a really profound way. And one of the projects that I've been working with um, is uh, Mutley Matters, which is part of the Mutley Green Bank Trust. Right. And Aubrey here is a project leader yes. for the Mutley Green Bank Trust. Yes. And one of the things that we did was um, we created artworks. So local people, local groups created artworks which were about Plymouth and how they feel about Plymouth. We really want to do something really significant here. We want to make this into a really renowned 21st century collections-based institution. And it's a lot to say, but I think for us, that relationship with collections and bringing contemporary practice into that, it's something I've worked on here for 10 years in, in project by project, but this is a moment to, to really come to fruition in a holistic way.